Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at an insane black inventory that costs $100, just under $100 actually, but there's a twist this time. Someone made a request that we start doing sticker crafts more, so this entire inventory for all 16 skins has a sticker craft. Now, obviously there's a lot of different sticker crafts that exist. Because we have a $100 budget, we need to be budget friendly and we need to reduce the amount of options, honestly, to be able to build this. So that means we're going for a Paris Major Edition Black Inventory Sticker Crafts for $100, 16 skins. Hit the like button if you enjoy it, hit the subscribe button if you're new and let's go right into it. So, starting with the pistols as usual, for the USP it's going to be a ticket to hell and we're going to have a Furia Glitter Craft on it. Honestly, this one looks super clean to me and it's a bit more budget friendly. For the Glock, we are pushed towards the Catacombs, but what I can do as well is put on the Mongols Glitters for this. There wasn't really a Skull Edition to add on that would make much sense, so I think just going for the Mongols, something clean and budget friendly made the most sense. Now, I'm a big fan of the Conspiracy Desert Eagle with the Navi Crafts. Uh, obviously, I'd prefer probably like a hollow, but keeping budget in mind, we've opted to go for a Glitter Paris 2023 Navi Craft on this. Obviously, you've got the black with the yellow accent, so that yellow and black logo looks really nice. Now, every skin in this is factory new, except for the P250 Cartel, which you have to pick up with minimal wear. And in this case, rather than Mongols Glitters, we've actually went for the Mongols Hollows. Um, in the preview, this looked like the best option for it. Again, this is like a floral skin with a skull on it, so it was just trying to go for something that wouldn't really clash with it, but still add to it. So with the 5.7 boost protocol I've gone for a G2 glitter craft. Now one thing with the Paris glitters is you can see there the glitter coming through but my visual settings and my digital brightness mean that I don't really see the white glitter shine too much but the G2 stickers work really well on a boost protocol. I have one myself with like a Monacy sticker and a G2 sticker. I don't know what it is. I think the patterns just make sense. Now, going on to the rifles, which is where we want to spend a bit more money, the AK-47 Slate is going to have the most expensive sticker craft in the lot here, Gamer Legion Hull. To give you context, this craft is $25, and the skin itself is just under $7. So, every other craft on this is like trying to be between $1 to $2 max, a lot of them coming under. We've got one, the Mongols P250 Cartel, was $4.48. This was $25. Everything else is a nice budget. This looks incredibly good for me. One thing I like about the Game Religion Halls is it's a G out, which is good luck. So you're running around with your AK, you're getting frags. It's like good luck to the opponents because you're so good. Then for the m 4 ones it makes sense to go for the Nitro here and then put on either Apex or Fnatic Glitters. I went for the Apex Glitters, in my opinion, for these cost $2.16 and it pairs really nicely with the Orange with Nitro. Then the Magnesium, honestly, I kind of struggled for crafts. Obviously, this is a super budget skin. It's $81, so you don't want to spend too much on stickers. So I went for some Pain Glitters. You get these for $0.76 cents, and they kind of lean into like the where the flames are going. That's kind of the best, best way I can describe it in the pairing. And I think a white sticker was the best option. Now, one of the two skins that we don't have a four times craft on is going to be the op and this is going to be the black nile now i went for an ins hollow on the scope because the black nile scope has like the sort of bronze detail around it and the ins logo or album is like that orangey brown on the hollow so i thought that would be the best fitting for it and i really don't want to sort of put anything on the design of the op one that i actually kind of like but i know it's going to be subjective is the parallax scout with the nine glitters on it obviously the nine glitters are like that white and black contracts the parallax is white and black I could have gone carbon fiber with like fluxo stickers, but for me, I think this looks really, really nice. I've got to tell already, we're going a lot on the glitter stickers here to make it budget friendly. Obviously, $100, you can't be spending too much on stickers. Here, for, we've got Famous ZX Spectrum, Factory New, which is $5.31. And then the Fias glitters combined are 71 cents, or sorry, 72 cents. And obviously, because this has the red accent on the skin, then the white stands out against the black of the skin. And then the red accents of the stickers match into the actually. You know, it's the lighting. Because I'm in the most bright here, you barely see it. But when you go darker, you actually see the glitter more. There you go. But yeah, the red accents match the red accent on the skin as well. Now, I feel like I big brain the chromatic aberration. I went for complexity glitters because the complexity logo is a star. And it has a star on the magazine of the chromatic aberration. So it kind of pairs them together. This one's super cheap. The complexity stickers are 68 uh, cents in total. And then the factory new chromatic aberration is about $7. For the featherweight on the MP9, we want to go like super cheap, super basic. It's a black and white skin, so a black and white glitter logo makes the most sense. And in this case, I've gone for the heroic because they're big, they stand out. Obviously, one of the best teams in the world right now. 68 cents for the stickers, 34 cents for the skin. Really budget craft option. Now, again, the ensnared is a budget skin. We don't want to spend too much, but I actually went for a dollar sixty on the stickers because I think the Monty glitters work really well with the blue sort of highlight you're getting from the ensnared. It's not perfect by any means, but for a budget craft it definitely works 
I went again for the complexity stickers for the Swag 7. These are meant to be the glitters. Yep, these are the glitters. I don't know why. Oh, there you go. There's no show, they're not showing through. You can actually see the glitter coming through on them now. Lovely stuff. Swag 7, super budget, 97 cents. Stickers again, 68 cents. This is like where you're just sort of kind of forcing a sticker craft for the sake of having one. I think the likes of the AK is definitely much better. And then because we have some budget left over, I wanted to include a Tech 9, which I think we're going to start doing more on these inventory videos. And in this case, I went for a Avalanche, but then I put Monty stickers on it now. Now, the placement is incorrect on this inspect. It's meant to have three monthly stickers on the front and nothing at the back. Bro skins has let me down massively here. You don't want the sticker at the back because it doesn't look good. The three craft on the front would look impeccable and it's like three dollars eighty one in total. And that rounds off the black inventory video with the crafts on it, specifically from Paris 2023. So let me know if you like this sort of content. Obviously, the most interesting crafts are very expensive. Like these mouse stickers are like $25 a pop. Makes it a very expensive craft to do, but we're working with a hundred dollar budget and you're trying to add a little bit of personality to the stickers i want with the paris team to try and like keep it simple to sort of reduce the massive amount of options you guys can let me know your thoughts on that if you want to see more of this or if you prefer just normal inventories if you do want to see more of this what like theme do you want to see do you want to see do you want to see like cologne 2019s do you want to see like um stockholm 2021 craft stuff like that if you can give me the theme give me the stickers you want to see and we'll try and piece it together but as i say guys let me know in the comments down below if you think I've missed out on a craft on this. Let me know which one was your favourite as well. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you're out here. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.